one of those things that you can't quite believe in life. Because um, we didn't think there'd be a second, not, not for a minute, actually. I certainly didn't. And, uh, but it was a logistical nightmare, I should imagine, trying to get us all back, except that it's a measure of how much we all loved it. Um, and it was, you know, just fabulous. And I love the second film. I think it's slightly more melancholy um, and a hard act to follow. And I'm also mad about the title. I think it's so witty. I don't think she's changed that much, but I think she's slightly restless. She doesn't really know what she wants. Uh, she's still got a sense of humour, thank goodness. Um, but she doesn't really know what's going to make her happy, I think. And, um, Great credit to John Madden, who, on the first day of filming, said, I think Madge is a little blue. And uh, so it was a lovely, different shade to play her in. Not all the time, but she was just in a slight dilemma about her life. What was clever is that, um, we all, because we all know each other quite well, the um, story following the fact that we're all now residents in the same hotel meant that we didn't have to play the familiarity because we just know each other, which is a, a clever trick. Similarly, Richard Gere's character coming in and Tamsin Gregg's character coming in was sort of life reflected in the art, really. And so we all had a genuine, um, you know, moment of welcoming, which was uh, very, very finely played, I think, and clever. You don't know where it's going to go, of course. That's what's so marvellous. And I think it's quite surprising. And I also think um, that, for my character anyway, at the end, you'll be left thinking, mm, as Madge does, too. Um, so it's not conclusive, the end. It's very, very clever, because you can all make up your own mind about what you think. But it takes you to wonderful places. It shows India at its sparkling best. And I don't think people would be disappointed. I thought it was quite wonderful when I saw it, and I'm extremely proud to be in it. Madge sort of is quite overwhelmed by the beauty and the, and the joy. Um, and so she skips off. So it was rather, <laughs> rather a pity, actually, in a way, because I would love to have been part of the dancing. Um, and, uh, and I think it's magnificent and, and joyful, which is what this film is in spades.